Thanks for coming back to another video on the Final Days channel. Today is February 16th, 2021. Please feel free to share, copy, or reuse any parts of my videos. Today we are going to see the sky go from a brilliant blue to a monochrome gray in just minutes, exposing what looks like two suns. We will also be seeing more of these shadows that people have been seeing in the skies, round shadows. But first we're going to show the black center of the manufactured light casting its reflection upon the water and other reflective surfaces. The black dot equipment is not always visible. It all depends upon how straight on the camera is facing the light source. During these sunrise videos, the light generating equipment shows up as a black dot and it does cast a reflection upon the water surface, proving that it's an actual piece of equipment and not a camera or lighting issue. The black dot equipment is capable of producing a circular glare that can cover much of the sky. Yet, the actual light producing equipment is so small that the glare can be completely blocked by a tiny street lamp. The manufactured light can also become completely hidden behind a thin flagpole or even a thin bird feeder post. The vertical lines here are typical Canadian lens flares, but you can still see that the manufactured light becomes completely hidden behind a thin post. The real sun could never become hidden behind these small objects. Jesus tells us that we will see signs in the sky when the end is near. In the Bible's book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 25. Here we see the sun rising from the southeast facing camera in Angoon, Alaska, and the black dot equipment is casting its reflection upon the water. A solar eclipse is taking place here. The pink reflection of the jet comes in from the bottom right corner. From this camera's perspective, though, we don't see the actual jet this time, but its reflection is obvious. And as always, if we draw a line from the pink reflection of the jet to the black center of the manufactured light, the object being hidden always falls upon that line. And in the last few frames, the concealment jet has now left, making it easier to view this object that was being hidden. But once the light source moves very far away, it's no longer lit up enough to see and it kind of fades into the darkness. I want to point out something very interesting in this footage that's easy to miss. Let's take 50 minutes of sequential frames here and look at the sun's reflection in the water. Notice the water. The reflection of the sun actually disappears for three frames. 30 minutes. For 30 minutes the reflection of the sun disappears because there is a celestial object blocking the sunlight for 30 minutes. The manufactured light passes in front of the celestial object while the real sun passes behind in order to hide the solar eclipse. These images were taken yesterday from the west-facing camera in Chilkat, Alaska. This footage starts out with a brilliant blue sky and an egg-shaped shadow area that moves a tiny bit from frame to frame. I tried putting contrast on it, but it just didn't do any good, so I marked the shadow with a circle. And as the day goes on, the manufactured light begins to illuminate this cloaked object and it becomes very white and very obvious. A fast rotating planet is then seen coming from this large cloaked area. As the manufactured light is adjusted to reduce illumination and thus making viewing of this object more difficult, the sky loses its blue color and quickly fades to a monochrome gray. This happens every day at this location when it's not under heavy cloud cover. 
This tells us that the manufactured light has the ability to radiate a blue cast to the sky and also to remove it on demand. This cloaked area could be one of those large sky lenses because the rotating celestial object that appears next to it seems to come out of nowhere. These sky lenses cause objects to appear in places other than where they actually are. This is what they do. Thus, we don't really know if this fast rotating object is actually where we are seeing it. It could be elsewhere and perhaps we're seeing a reflection of it. But we know it's not a, uh, a lens flare of the sun because the sun doesn't rotate as fast as this object is rotating. We see the same round shadow from the northwest facing camera in Knob Ridge, Alaska. I used the same red circle here as on the video we just saw from Chilkat and this tells us it's about the same size. I was able to use a little bit of contrast on it to bring it out. We saw what happens with the manufactured light when it illuminates these sky shadows in the last video. It causes them to become more visible. This is why you see regular intervals of chemtrails in the area of this shadow. Notice that these chemtrails are short, just enough to hide this shadow as the manufactured light source starts to get closer and closer as the day begins to come to a close. And before the light source gets close enough to this object to light it up, a dark wall of clouds rises up from the horizon, making viewing of the illuminated object impossible. This dark wall of clouds comes every day, every day. Here's an hour's worth of images from today's, uh, from the same camera. And as you can see, the shadow is not on the camera lens or housing. There is no round shadow showing here because it's hidden behind the heavy cloud cover. This tells us that the round sky shadow cannot be anything that is produced within the camera, such as a lens flare, a smudge, or something similar. Untold trillions have been spent on the smoke and mirrors to hide the foreign planetary system that has now intermingled with our own solar system. The reason for all the secrecy is because the enemies of Christ do not want you to know how close to the end we are so that you cannot turn your life over to Jesus before your time runs out. The enemy is seething with anger right now because they know their judgment is coming very soon. They despise our God for casting them down from heaven. And the only way they can get back at him is to try and drag all of us down to hell with them. They are going down and they want everyone else to go with them. It's as simple as that. There is a battle for your soul. If you choose to love this world and the things in it, then you will go down with them. If you choose to love Jesus Christ and live according to that love, then you have chosen well. One of the very great deceptions the enemy uses is the apostate churches that don't preach out against sin and abomination. Thus, the poor deceived churchgoers think that all they have to do is att attend church weekly in these apostate churches and that they're good to go to heaven. Even the demonic realm is present in those churches every Sunday. The deceived churchgoer thinks that everyone who believes in God goes to heaven. Well, even the satanic ones believe in Jesus Christ. We need to have something more than the demonic realm has. We must believe that Jesus Christ died for our sins, repent of our sins, and choose him, choose to love him out of our own free will, and we must live in holiness. Holiness is explained in the link below in the description box. The next few screens will tell you how to accept Christ into your life. Simply pause the screens if you need more time to read the text.